Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Uh, this is going to be a one year from now reading. Last year, I this time, I did one year from now. So now we're going to do another one year from now reading. And we're just going to see what comes up in your uh, current general energies in your first row. Uh, you have this truth card and this protection card. So I, we are in a time of truth, by the way. I mean, every single person gets something about, you know, the truth or living authentically. I, I think that's really what the energy is, by the way. I don't think it has to do with like the truth. I think it has to do with your truth. What is what makes you feel authentic? What makes you feel like you're making a difference in the world or, you know, what brings you joy and happiness in, in your life? And can you just add just even 1% more of that to your day every single day? And I feel if you can, obviously <laughs> there is success coming in because of it. And uh, also probably more balance and more truth uh, coming in. You have like a lot of stuff about law and order. So just a little bit of a side note, if you are dealing with something legal or you know something like that, this could be um, you getting justice. Obviously you have the justice card. So, uh, you know, that could be great. Uh, I really also feel it's really more talking about your truth. See, I, this is a breakthrough here, Cancer, is what this is. I feel that, um, you could be having some sort of breakthrough in your life that is, you know, it's kind of like this, um, I don't know what it is. Let's, fi let's find out, Cancer, because again, I'm not sure if this breakthrough is kind of one of su like success, meaning, you know, is this for your abundance or for your life in general, probably your life in general with the chariot, right? The chariot is you showing up in a very strong position, but the chariot is also about taking control of your life. So. I kind of feel that you could be having a breakthrough that leads to a lot of happiness because it's leading to fulfillment and, you know, your truth. Uh, you have this protection and truth card. And so I feel for some of you that your truth is, you know, I, I kind of feel it's more saying like your truth is divinely guided, meaning that there, there's something that you're kind of meant to do and it's being, you know, protected from the universe. I also feel that you are kind of being led to this. It's almost like you're being led to a breakthrough. Um, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles is kind of like head down, nose to the grindstone, putting in the work. And eventually, when you keep doing the work, when you show up every single day, I know it's, it sounds boring, but when you show up every day, eventually you have a breakthrough. And I, I, but I also get this feeling with the Eight of Pentacles of needing to follow something. We go... Eight of Pentacles, Justice to the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles, like work hard, play hard, creating the balance. It's spinning plates, doing a lot. But eventually, I think, you know, I, I can, I'm going to give you a little shortcut here, Cancer, right? <laughs> so listen up. Here's the shortcut right here. It's almost like you could um, shortcut the discovery of your truth if you took maybe you know, I don't know, like 10 minutes a day for a little bit of time to look at the work that you're doing. On the Seven of Pentacles, he's looking at the what has grown on the Seven of Pentacles. I'll show you again at the end of the reading, but he's looked at what he has grown and he's saying like, is it worth it? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Or is there something I could change? So I feel like you need to look at all the work you're doing, Eight of Pentacles, and you need, you need to see like what is what it could actually improve my life and what is not working. What is um What things are wasting my time? And I would, I would really focus on that. Uh, I also feel some of you, it's, I have a weird message popping to my head. Like if you have like three jobs or something like that, it's like maybe there's one job that you really want. I, it, and it's almost as if you've gotten yourself into a position. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm reading for someone who's like gotten themselves into a position where it's like they have to do all these things that are, that are sucking up too much time. And if that is you, I feel like you're going to have a breakthrough that is going to set you free from that. So that's nice, right? Especially if you are tired. <laughs> you know, I would be tired if I had three jobs. I do, but <laughs> you know, I want to do the things I do. So again, if you're working on things that you don't want to do, you have like three jobs or something. This to me looks like, you know, and, and again, when, I think when people get into those situations, it's like, obviously maybe you have to do it, but you know, it's like when you get into that situation, it's hard to find time to do other things. And then, it, you know, you kind of get stuck, right? I feel like you're getting unstuck from something like that. It might not even be a job. It could be other responsibilities that you have. And I don't know, that's what's popping in to my head with this Hierophant. Uh, I, yes, I understand that's not what the Hierophant means, but I read intuitively and that was an intuitive message that I got. It's almost like the universe is saying like, okay, you've learned everything that you needed to learn from this situation. You've gained... Uh, a ton of knowledge and wisdom right below the Hierophant. So now it's time for balance. <laughs> you, ha you have the Justice card going both ways here. And so it's like you've learned a lot. I feel like you've learned, you know, pretty much what you need to learn 
from you know something that has been taking up a lot of time, like three jobs. Again, it is popping to my head as three jobs, but like I said, it could just be a bunch of responsibilities, uh, or you know, kind of being in a situation like that where you're kind of stuck, but kind of not, but kind of are. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Cups. Yes, very good reading. Um, completely different year for you. You know, it's like two nines is newness. Two nines is um, you know completely something new. And you even have the Chariot. He is leaving his city behind him behind. So he's leaving behind an establishment, something that has been established in his life, and he's moving on to what he wants, something new, something different, something more exciting. So, <laughs> you know, I kind of feel, sorry, I just messed something up here. Let me fix it. Uh, so it's like, you're kind of moving on from that. With the Hierophant, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, stealing, of course, but really it's a card of tactics. He is, and I don't see lying, cheating, stealing here. I'm not saying you haven't been through that, but, you know, again, I feel this is saying, that the universe is giving you the tools to escape like something, it, you know, giving the, you the tools to have a breakthrough. It, like, you know, sometimes, it, let, let's put it this way. Sometimes I think we have a breakthrough because we gain some information, right? Maybe we read a book or we learn how to have a breakthrough and then we have a breakthrough. This to me looks, again, more like a path. It's more like little clues that, you know, the universe is making one thing happen in your life and then another, then another. Let's put it this way. You have this building blocks card and it almost always reminds me of Tetris. You can see those blocks that are kind of falling down and lifting her up. It's kind of like one block at a time. Uh, you're, you're, you are being lifted out of this situation. So yeah, I really like this. But I would be tactical, you know, with the Seven of Swords. With the uh, King of Swords, you have the Eight of Cups. If you have, I feel like you are just focusing on yourself. If you have dealt with a liar, cheater, stealer, or anything like that, uh, you know, to me, you are just being very independent right here, focused on just your own things, your own life your own successes, and that's exactly what you should do, plain and simple. Uh, next, in the area of what you don't see coming, you have this card that says, a time to give rather than take. You have this, uh, f that that is the new moon in Virgo, by the way. You have this full moon in Aquarius that says, show the world the real you. Yes, breakthrough. And hermit, you have to expose yourself with the hermit. We'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that in just a minute. So I feel you have to kind of reveal something to the world Probably, you know, this breakthrough is something that you've been working on in your life for a long time. So it could be a business that you're presenting to the world. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel or uh, use one of your talents, gifts, skills, or abilities for success. And that seems to be the focus from now until this time next year. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the uh, Justice card, and the Eight of Wands. The Justice card is a card of balance and justice and i do feel some of you are getting justice i do feel also that you need to take um kind of like a neutral approach like if you you know i wouldn't have a reaction to any ideas that pop into your head or anything if you get a new idea or if someone presents you with some information in your life i kind of feel the best thing for you to do would be to just kind of look at it see you know see what you think about it and just kind of give it some time because some you know sometimes i think we get get like we can get overly excited about an idea and then it doesn't work out then we get disappointed we can not get excited about an idea that could lead to a breakthrough so i feel it'd be better to sit in the middle is you have any ideas or you have things you know opportunities um people places and things doesn't matter i think it would be a good year for you to like not make immediate decisions is what's popping into my head. I don't know, it's popping into my head as important. It's popping into my head as, you know, you just take think about the decision, give it a day, see how you feel, then go from there. You have the Eight of Wands, which is quick success. Uh, I love this right here, right up to the chariot, right through the fool. So it looks to me like you're gonna take a leap of faith towards something and I feel it is going to be a very good decision for you. So I definitely like that. You have the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, of course, is a card of being independent. It's a card of uh, gratitude and luxuries as well. So I do feel there could be a lot of reasons or there are a lot of reasons for you to be very happy at this time. And I think it's because of, you know, thing, the, your abundance is increasing with this energy. So, you know, again, I would, keep, I would keep focusing on the good stuff here, you know, the increase in your abundance or things that could increase your abundance. Let's see. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have the world. Are you kidding? Definitely an accomplishment coming in for you. Some of you clearly could be moving or traveling here. Um, and you could be moving, <laughs> you know, on your own. You could be becoming very independent. With the Justice card, you have the Four of Wands. See, uh, some of you could be dealing with a divorce here. And again, I feel like there will be justice. Uh, if you want love, I do feel that there could be new love coming in for you. And, you know, I feel like it's a decision that you have to make. You have the Two of Pentacles here. Um, you know, Two of Pentacles says that maybe you're meeting a person and you're really busy, like I said, 
and you're kind of like saying, do I have time for this? Do I want to invest in this? Uh, it could also be some other blockage as well. It could be like, maybe you have to move, you have the world, the chariot, maybe they live at a distance or something. And so, you know, definitely something to think about, but it looks good. With the eight of wands, you have the eight of wands. Uh, so that that is basically the universe saying, I meant what I said whenever a card repeats itself. So, you know, I just feel like it's a card repeating itself. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this lamb card and this dragonfly card. You know, showing up in the good stuff, the dragonfly could represent breaking free from illusions, seeing things clearly. The lamb could represent, it. Can, it's like a card of like meditation, uh, taking uh, quieting the mind mostly so that you can gain insights. Hermit, right? <laughs> the hermit has gone on a journey on his own so that he can gain some, inner, you know, he can listen to his inner voice so that he can have a breakthrough so that he can, you know, go through a dark night of the soul or do some soul searching so he can find his inner answers. And this lamb card pretty much represents the same thing. And again, the dragonfly represents seeing things clearly. You have the hermit, the fool, and the two of pentacles. Uh, I think this is your most important card in the reading. I feel you need to reveal something or about yourself. You know, he has that star in his lantern. And I always say he needs to shine that star. You know, he needs to allow that star out of his lantern. He needs to shine it bright because it's like maybe it's a special aspect of himself or something that is very special, that could be special to the world. And, you know, again, I feel you have something special that you could reveal to the world, but I also feel you need to do it. I feel you need to do something to reveal what's special about you. You have the Fool here. The Fool is like a new beginning or starting something new. So I do feel you could be taking a leap of faith here and uh, it could be a total new beginning because you go up to that chariot. So I feel that your life could be in a completely different place like one year from now. But again, I think that it's because of these breakthroughs. You know, you're, you're gaining answers or inner answers about the direction you're supposed to move in in your life and that's what's leading to success. You have the Two of Pentacles. I am getting the word settlement as well. Every once in a while, I feel the Two of Pentacles, like showing up in the good stuff, for example, could represent you receiving a settlement. Uh, could be, you know, a court payout, insurance payout. If you've been waiting for money, it could just be money that is owed to you. So I do feel, uh, you know, I do feel that there could be like an insurance payout or something that is owed to you coming in here. Uh, let's see. With the Hermit, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is, of course, you know, um, building, leaving a legacy, good things coming in for you, really good, really good for money. It is the tree of life as well. So kind of represents everything you want and desire in your life. I feel like much more progress. You feel like you're making much more progress over the next year. I feel like you feel where that you are where you're supposed to be. I don't think we're supposed to be anywhere, just for the record. But, <laughs> you know, there are certain things in life where I feel if we reach a certain age or, you know, maybe we make a certain amount of money or we do something that we think we need to do. And if we don't like hit a milestone, then we feel like we're behind. It's almost as if I get more of a catching up energy here where you feel like you have caught up to where you're supposed to be. But again, number one, don't make those judgments because we're not supposed to be anywhere. But, you know, there you go. With the Fool, you have the Chariot again. Yeah, I definitely knew these were connected. This right here is like the highway with nobody on it. How amazing would that be? A highway with no traffic where you could just go and no cops. You could just drive a thousand miles an hour and no one would ever stop you. You know, this is pure momentum. The Chariot is a card of momentum. The Eight of Wands is a card of momentum. So this would represent kind of removing those friction points in your life that slow you down and adding more of the slip and slides that speed you up, right? And, you know, that's kind of how I look at life. It's like, how can I remove as much friction and add as much, you know, a, a slip and slide covered in something super slippery, right? And so I, I kind of feel that if you examine your life, you're probably going to see things that are friction. And it's like, how can you, um, you know, remove more of those things? I think that's what you're asking yourself. You have the, with the two of pentacles, you have these six of wands, definitely a victory, chariot twice. So, and the six of wands also represents like a victory or a success that is coming in for you. So I do feel like a big success or some something very successful. Uh, at the end here for the, um, messages from your future self, you have this unfinished symphony card and this building blocks card. I feel like you're being built up. It, it, remember what I was saying about, it's almost like the universe is leading you with clues. And I feel you need to pay attention to the clues that you are receiving at this time and you need to move in those directions. You know, this could be a little bit harder because sometimes the universe gives us like a hunch and we we have to trust that hunch and that's what I feel is going on here. 
the unfinished symphony card, I feel, is saying that you're... I don't really feel it's something unfinished. I feel this is more something you want. You know, it's like if you... You know, like I said, if you have, th it's almost as if you have three jobs and you just want one job, right? I feel like you're, this is saying you are, that is what you are finishing. You are finishing the stage of life where you had to go kind of like really, you know, apply yourself and put effort into something so that you could have something much better. And that's like the type of breakthrough. I hope that makes sense. Again, it doesn't have to be a job. Maybe you've had a bunch of crappy relationships and you want a good relationship. Maybe you've just had one crappy job and you want a really good job, right? It's like, I, I think you're, the unfinished symphony is saying, your story isn't finished. You're about to have something that is going to build you up. It's like you're you are being lifted out of a challenge. You have the chariot, the seven of pentacles, and the uh, four of swords. The chariot, of course, is you showing up in a very strong position. I was I do feel moving here. I mean, you have the world, you have the chariot twice, eight of wands. You know, you have the seven of pentacles even here. Could definitely represent a move or travel. Uh, so if you're moving or traveling, I see a lot of, you know, there could be a lot of benefits in you doing that. Could be a lot of success because of it as well. So I definitely like to see that. Uh, I also feel there could be a very solid, you know, victories coming in for you. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, I almost feel this is a shortcut in your reading. I don't really believe in shortcuts, but, you know, it's not like you're taking a shortcut. It's more like you're slowing down. You're looking at the things that you've accomplished. You're looking at the things that waste your time. You're looking at the things that don't waste your time. And I feel you that could really, just like slowing down, taking those moments, you know, could really speed your life up in a good way. And I really feel that's what this is saying. It's saying, you know, can you just take a couple of minutes every single day? Like, it doesn't have to be a big deal, right? Because over time, those few minutes will add up to a long time. And can you just say, like, what things do I do that waste my time? What things do I do that speed things up and make things more efficient? I feel if you could do that, you are really going to, again, make a lot of breakthroughs this year. You have the four swords. Four swords is a card of recovery. So I feel like you could be, you know, um, you know, recovering at this time. You have that lamb card. Again, another card of like manifestation, but really, I mean, uh, um, I meant to say meditation. <laughs> and it's really about quieting the mind. It's really about, you know, getting to those moments where, you know, if our mind is racing, we don't get answers. So can you quiet the mind enough to get the answers on like where you should be putting your energy? With the chariot, you have the four swords again. So a re another repeating card, basically, the universe saying I meant what I said. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Hermit. You know, you have the Hermit twice, slow energy, slow progress. So, you know, in a lot of ways, could you make faster progress? I, like, I, I feel like you could do this activity right now where you kind of look at the things in your life that slow you down and you look at the things that speed you up. And you could really, you know, I feel like now is your opportunity to take advantage of that time and to really make something happen where you slow down, you look at the breakthroughs you've had and make them bigger. With the Four of Swords, you have the Knight of Cups. Definitely love uh, as well coming in for you. It's like not like a major love reading, but if you want love this year, there's love coming in for you. I feel, um, you know, you have the Four of Wands. We kind of talked about maybe someone coming in from a distance and boom, you have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups could be like a knight in shining armor that's coming in for you here, Cancer, someone who really wants to be with you. And uh, again, I kind of do feel it could be like a King of Swords person, could be someone older than you, doesn't have to be a man, could be any gender, but you know, probably has a lot of knowledge and wisdom. Uh, no signs really stand out to me. Taurus, um, you know, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo with the world card or Capricorn or Virgo stands out to me as well. Uh, you have this success card. We're pulling five main themes now. So I do feel that there is clearly a lot of success. Again, I think the success comes from slowing down, doing what's important, and focusing on any big breakthroughs that you have, which again, I think the breakthroughs could be these clues that the universe is giving you. And so the clues could come in the form of like sign, symbols, synchronicities, words that you hear when you slow things down. Um, but I also do feel, again, with that dragonfly card, that maybe you're just entering into a time of clarity. So you know, it's kind of hard to say, but just things are just more clear. So there's nothing, you know, you are just going to see the answer. I hope that makes sense. Uh, you have the whale card. It says great worry over nothing. Yes, if you're worried about the future, I feel that could be holding you back. Like you could be worried, Um, you know, especially let's put it this way. You know, if you have goals, things you want to accomplish and you're worried, uh, like you are allowing the future to prevent you from starting those goals. I've met so many people that are like worried about who's going to get elected, worried about this, worried about that. And so they never start their business or they never do whatever. And, and it's like, just get started. Just do it. It's it's like, because you can get what you can get out of it right now. It's like, do what you can with what you got right now is what I feel like saying on this card, because 
maybe something will happen in the future, but maybe not. And if it's like, if you never get started, you're never gonna get the benefit. So I feel this is saying, don't allow fears to prevent you from do doing something you want. You have this quill, especially worries about the future. It says, get back to basics. We are the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, your very first card is a card that says, keep it simple, you stupid, right? So it says, keep it simple. <laughs> I think it is time to kiss. Time to just, you know, focus on the basics. Don't try to make things too fancy, you know, especially in like work or business, just do what you have to do. You have this hammock card that says, taking vacation physically or mentally. We see a lot of travel here. So it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were traveling. You have the stork. It says news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Yes, I definitely feel uh, two nines or oh, how many nines do you have? Two nines. So, you know, again, the two nines, something new being birthed into your life. Probably something with less friction. Like I was saying, something with more momentum is what I'd be focusing on here. But pretty straightforward reading here, Cancer. I like it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.